So Alex Villanueva has been out of office from the L.A. County Sheriff's Department for about eight and a half months now. He tells me he's running for the L.A. County Board of Supervisors, challenging incumbent Janice Hahn for the 4th District because he can no longer just sit idly by as crime and homelessness persists. So what has he learned in his time away in this exclusive interview? He says he's learned there's an appetite for his politics. The amount of negative press generated by people that had a vested interest in unseating me has been overwhelmed by the people with such positive mesh of support. I mean, on social media, everywhere I go in public with my wife, everywhere we go, oh my God, we wish you were still in office. You need to go back. You need to do something. We, we need you. And they, you know, there, there's hope. And I think we can actually have a chance to make people realize, yes, we can do the right things for the right reason in government. It's just not going to happen with career politicians. Now, Villanueva says his decision to run for the board he was often at odds with during his tenure as sheriff. It came easy. He says the board leans far to the left. He's determined to bring it back to the middle where he believes constituents really are. Now, the 4th District, here's a look at it. It stretches from Torrance and Palos Verdes Estates to Norwalk, Whittier, La Habra Heights, many cities, of course, in between, including Long Beach. It was recently redrawn. Villanueva is banking on the new constituents. The majority overall are Latino. Now, Han currently serves as board chair. She was elected in 2016 after, of course, serving as L.A. City Councilwoman and Congresswoman. Now, while he was in office, he battled several scandals, including the issue of deputy gangs. So I asked him. That issue of scandals that seemed to follow you, how would that look different? Why would things be different as a supervisor? Well, I'll tell you this. Did you see that coverage of scandals under Jim McDonald? Do you see it now under Robert Luna? It's the same department. It's the same employees. It's the same policies. In other words, Villanueva says he was targeted by a particular media, which is choosing to let current sheriff Robert Luna off the hook. Now, of course, if elected, Villanueva would be working with Luna, who unseated him 61 to 31 percent in November. Villanueva says he's prepared to work with his former opponent as for Chair Hahn. We received this statement. You called it biting, uh, mm. Jen and Melvin. This is from her campaign. It says, L.A. County voters, including District 4, resoundingly rejected the man known as the Donald Trump of L.A. County last November for his incompetence and corruption. L.A. County became less safe under Villanueva's reign. He is a fraud and a failure, and L.A. County voters will not be fooled again. Now, Villanueva will make his public announcement today. We will be there when he does. He's also scheduled to be back here in studio for a live interview mm -hmm. with me and Alex tonight at 6 o'clock. It's going to be a big conversation all over L.A. in the, in the coming I, I, days. I think, it, I think it already is. Yeah. And coming up at 9 o'clock, uh, we'll have more from my exclusive with him. And also, Marla, too, the supervisors had a lot, some of them had a lot to say about him when he was sheriff. And so mm -hmm. now he could potentially, if voted and be in the mix with some of them. And, and I asked him that very question. It's similar to his, his relationship with Luna, yeah. of course. So someone who was your opponent, who you did this with yeah. a lot how are you gonna how are you gonna bridge that divide so we'll have more of that coming up at nine o'clock including his path forward han of course is an institution here in los right. angeles her dad's name is on the hall of administration kenneth yeah. han how do you beat an incumbent like han mm. we thank shall you, see Marla. okay thank you thank, thank you. you very much